Hey loves, I am back. It's another week. I apologize in advance. Um, if I sound a bit stuffy, I have not been feeling my best this week, but it leads for a pretty good story time. Again, hey loves, I hope you guys had a great Wakanda weekend and really enjoyed the weather, the sun, um, everything. As I said before, I haven't been feeling that great um, this weekend. It's kind of been a bummer, but um, it led me to learn some things about this whole journey. Um, and, you know, one of it being that you really need to listen to your body. So that's not just with, you know, working out and with the food you eat, but with your health overall. And so what ended up happening to me this week was, um, you know, I was like totally, totally like super heavy cold. I'm not going to say it was the flu because I don't believe I had the flu, but um, yeah, just a really, really, really bad cold. And I... <laughs> was in bed like pretty much like half of Saturday, all of Sunday, and majority of Monday. Tuesday, you know, my like severe symptoms had started to break. So, you know, of course I still have, even right now, like I still have a stuffy nose. I could still only really breathe out of my mouth. Um, I still sound funny to myself. Like I, it, it's hard, like my ears keep blocking up and all that kind of stuff. But um, I was like, you know what? Like, I'm not missing a workout. I'm doing this 90 day challenge. I said I was gonna go to the gym three times a week, blah, blah, blah. Um, and for those who don't know about the 90 day challenge, go back to last week's video, check that out and join in with me. But back to the story. So, um, I was like, I'm gonna go to the gym. I'm gonna do this. And <laughs> I got up, you know, put my gym clothes on, like took, took a shower, put my gym clothes on. And I was out the door, ready to go. The weather was like pushing 70, which is very rare for Boston in February. Hashtag global warming, it's a real thing. But um, I get to the gym, I'm super excited to be there and I'm like on the treadmill and I'm like, all right, you know, this is good. This will be, this will be all right. And then it was time to go and do my workout. Now, God bless, you know, my trainer's heart. He didn't know that I had just spent the whole weekend pretty much like in like comatose city in my bed. But, um, he gave me, you know, the normal routine and he knows like normally on a good day, on a really good day, I will kill whatever workout he gives me. So he always challenges me and he'll give me like a really good challenge. This time around, he gave me my challenge, you know, to go through my machines as normal, you know, reps 12, 8, 20, but in between to do these like kind of burpees on the BOSU ball. Um, So like, you know do the burpee, come down, do three of them, just three. And they were easy-esque. <laughs> like it was so, they, they were so easy, but my body was so weak from being sick all weekend that by the time I got to through like the first set, sweating heavy. And I was like, wow, I'm sweating pretty hard already. Like normally I don't start sweating this hard until I'm like halfway in. By the second set of machines, I was like, man, like, I know we just up these weights, but boy, these weights are really getting heavy. Like, what? I don't know. Like, maybe I finally found, like, you know, my limit. Like, I, I don't know. This is crazy. And still, you know, not listening to all of the signs that my body's like, hello, hello, like, help us, help us. And... The third set, like halfway, I got halfway through my workout and my body said, tapped out. So I'm sitting on this machine. I'm sitting on the, the arm curl machine, like with my head on the pads, just my hands 
my hands over my face sitting there. My trainer comes up like in front of me and he's like, like, Ariel, talk to me. What's going on? Like, what's the matter? Like, what's good? Like, you're not saying anything. You're just kind of sitting there. And all I could manage to say was, I think I'm going to throw up. And that's as far as I got. <laughs> and so, unfortunately, at the gym, I threw up. Thank God I did not throw up on the machine. Um, I was able to get up and get to the trash can, but it was it was a mess, guys. <laughs> It was so bad. And I was, of course, embarrassed. Like, oh, God. Like, I just threw up in the gym. My trainer has to clean it up. Who wants to do that? This is terrible. Uh, but it was a good lesson to learn um, for me. Like, even though I, like, am focused and I want to lose weight and I want to stay on track, the most important thing, which is what this is all about, is health. And if my body is trying to recover from whatever, you know, virus or whatever is in my body, I have to be able to conserve all of the energy that I have so that my body can use that energy, the little bit of energy that I have, a little bit, <laughs> to fight off this infection that is like plaguing me. So my body is over here trying to fight off this like sickness. And then on the other side, it's like, Ariel, like, why are you trying to use it to like, to, why are you, why are you fighting against us? Like, don't, don't fight against us. Fight with us. So that was, that was my day um, yesterday. Not that pleasant, didn't enjoy it, but it was a lesson. And so right now I'm kind of chilling for a little bit until I can tell that, you know, I am back at full strength. And then I'll be back beasting it in the gym, beast mode, because I love it there. I love it. But sometimes you just got to pump the brakes and listen to your body. So that's my story of uh, my gym fail, my health fail, my just overall fail, like put a stamp on my face. Like, you know, if I were Charlemagne, I'd give myself donkey of the day because that was, that's what it was. So, um, yeah, <laughs> overall, other than that, you know, trying to take care of myself, trying to make sure that I'm still drinking water and getting the fluids that I need um, because it's very important, especially, you know, while I'm not feeling well to continue to stay hydrated. And so that's what I'm trying to make sure that I do, especially since I'm like, because my body is like fighting so hard, like my temperature doesn't really know what to do with itself. So I'll be like cold and sweating and hot all at the same time. Like it's really bad. I'm surprised I haven't started sweating yet right now. Like it's going to come very soon. I know it. I probably am sweating and you just can't see it. But um, like that's how bad it's been. And so, you know, until my body gets back to a place where it's like, all right, we're functioning, you know, back to normal like all systems go, like, I just got to make sure that, you know, I'm, I'm getting my, my proper vitamins that I'm making sure that I have, um, you know, the, the fluids and different things that I need. So that, that is all for that story. But as for, you know, my weight loss, how have I been doing? Um, I think the numbers this week are a little unfair. I really do. Because like I was saying, like, you know, I've been sweating a whole heap of a lot and everything. So I think I've just lost like a ton of water weight. But you know what? I'm just going to run with it. I'm going to run with this number for this week. I am at 267 pounds. Not mad at it. Not mad at it. So that means I am now down a total of 80, no, 18, 80. I was reading the wrong one. 18, so I got my marble jars here. Did you see it? Boop, 
pounds lost. 18 pounds. Which kind of looks like 81 from the view that you guys have. That means I have 82 more to go. I know it's backwards, but that says 82. That says 18. I am so excited. As you guys know, my first mini goal is 25 pounds. Um, I don't really have like a hooray for myself for 25 pounds down, but I did notice that uh, my pants are starting to look like baggy skinny jeans and that's terrible. So I'll uh, probably end up just like getting myself some new pants or maybe just some leggings and wearing those until I can get some pants that I know I'll be in for a little while or so. Like, cause I didn't want to really like get new, new, new clothes until I was like 50 pounds down, but my clothes are starting to tell me that that's probably not going to work. So, um, so yeah, we'll see. Maybe I'll go like thrift store shopping. That'll be my gift for 25 pounds down and get some like, you know, recycled jeans. And then when I get down more, I'll go and get something else. So that's all I have. I hope you guys are taking care of yourselves I know the weather is doing really crazy things, but make sure you all are staying um, healthy and safe and, you know, not treating your bodies bad. So that's it. Until next week.